All right, I've got a 2016 Toyota Tacoma, and unfortunately, somebody did uh, a not so great thing. I have my cell phone over here. They busted the window in and took my cell phone, so now I have a broken window. I want to show you how to repair and replace actually the glass. You can see there's glass pieces in the door. There's glass pieces over here, although that's not even all the pieces. I got a whole bag full of glass. See that? It's all shattered. It's shattered to a million pieces. Hopefully there's not much in the door because if there is, you got to vacuum it out. Otherwise, it could cause rust problems cutting the bottom of your, of your door, basically. I hope I'm not going to run into that issue. I don't know. I don't really hear that much in the door. But oh, this what happened to me is basically called a smash and grab, too. See, these, these things are designed to break. Through. Anyway, I decided to get a new window from amazon.com for about $60 shipped to me. And if you want to order from Amazon, please use the link below at the video, uh, below this video. The first link gives our nonprofit some money back. Uh, I don't have full glass coverage. If you do, I guess great. You don't have to pay for anything, although it's a claim on your insurance and that's not good. I don't like to make claims unless it's a big deal. So I have a really high deductible of like $1,000. I don't have the glass coverage. And even if I had it, I probably wouldn't want to make the claim if I could fix this myself. It's not like a windshield. It's just uh, something that has two bolts that, that hold it on the track. You gotta take the door panel off. And uh, I question whether I should go to a junkyard or not, but ju even junkyard parts are significantly more expensive and they're required to meet the same safety standards as uh, original equipment glass. Hopefully it'll look the same, or at least close to it. Let's get the door panel off first, and then we'll look at the, if I feel confident enough in doing this, which hopefully I will after making a video, then we'll look at what the glass looks like that was shipped to me from Amazon for like 60 bucks. All right, first thing we're gonna do, just an overview, is take this panel off. And to take this panel off, it's not too difficult. You have, basically have to pry this off. You have to remove this, which is done by just wedging underneath of there, I think pulling the center part out. Then there's two screws, only two screws holding the panel on, one underneath here and one behind here. I'll show you how to pry these off or remove these. Let's start with this. I've never done this before, by the way. So these are all held on my clips. If you're not familiar, you hear it breaking? It's not breaking. It's it's held on by these clips right here. This goes to the power window, and here, these clips hopefully don't break off. Over time, when the car gets older, they they do, and that's a whole other issue. Plastic parts breaking with time. But if you garage your vehicle and you don't have it in too many extreme conditions, hopefully it doesn't do that. So that's this. This kind of cast that aside for a moment. Then we have to take this off. I gotta get my tool. I think I need a little screwdriver to wedge in there. Here's a close up version. You can wedge in there. And I'm making this video, by the way, with a lot of close ups because a lot of these videos, they're taken from a, on a tripod far away and you can't really tell exactly what you need to do. This is for somebody that has no idea what they're doing. And even for somebody that does, at least you'll learn all the specific stuff here for the Toyota generation 2016 through 2021. This is being recorded in May, 2021. So it may even apply to 2022 and beyond, even if you watch this later. I'm not sure how long they're gonna keep this model designation, but I think all the stuff has been the same since 2016 anyway. And mine is a 2016. Okay, here is that fitting. So part, I got it out as you can see, and I actually pushed it in by accident, uh, but I was able to pull it out. You see it expands over here and it goes back. And then this thing is loose. Now we gotta take off these areas. I'll show you how to do that. I've just got a little knife. You see, I'm pulling this up. There's pieces of glass in there. Just be careful. It's just a piece of felt. Look how dirty my truck is. You'll have to excuse me, but you can see uh, there are pieces of glass in there, but there's a screw. That's the most important. A uh, Phillips head screw. Take that out. And there's another one behind here. So you have to, I'll have to put this down. I'm going to get this knife behind here or a flat head screw, flat screwdriver. There we go. Loosened it up, and again, one screw. That's your screw to take out. Two screws. You can see it's not in there that tight. Just don't strip it, just be careful. Have constant pressure, not like me holding the camera at the same time. Well, you can see that'll, that'll come out like that. And then this one, Also not in very tight. So take these both out. 
you don't lose the screw. Um, of course, just putting it right down here. Also, don't lose this one. Put it in a safe spot. Actually, this is the one. Okay, that's the one for the uh, armrest. That's the one for the door lever. Uh, they look a little different. Don't mix them up. Now we have to remove the panel, or at least pull it back as far as we can. And one thing before I forget, uh, you have glass pieces in here. If you need to vacuum, I would not recommend one of those car vacuums that plugs in a 12 volt. I'd recommend a 120 regular, regular household vacuum with, this. have so much more suction. All right, now to the door panel. So we're gonna do like we did on this part, only this was a small scale, this is a big scale. We're just gonna pull, we have to kind of grab until we feel the clips pulling out. They make tools for this, so that you don't break anything, and hopefully I won't. I'm gonna have to put this down until I get one of them going. Whoa, you heard it? I heard glass in there. Okay, I got this one going, so I'm pulling straight on here. I pulled one out, there's another one, and there's pieces, those are pieces of glass, by the way. That's what you're hearing. So you can see pieces of glass in here, and we wanna to try to get all these out without them falling into the door. For obvious reasons, they can cause rust problems because this is made out of steel. I do have a vacuum, like I said, don't use the car vacuum. Actually, I might stop right here and try to vacuum some of the stuff out right now, now that I can get my eye on it. Let me get the vacuum out. Okay, so I got my little vacuum nozzle and I'm gonna turn this thing on. One of the mounting points right there is totally cracked around there. I can see some glass in there, unfortunately. Why not going to get out? Okay, you'll be finding little glass pieces forever and a day after you've had something like this happen. Okay, that's all that for now. Let me take the rest of the door panel off. Here, I can get some of this stuff off. This way also, when you have done this, you'll be able to tell if there's any glass left in the door because this stuff, oh, there's another piece. There's pieces everywhere. Oh my gosh. They Another piece. And there's a speaker down here. We're going to have to take this off too. You don't want to use too much force. All right, now it's totally free, as you can see. And whether we need to disconnect these latch things, I'm not sure. Oh, here's more glass. Let's get that vacuum out again. The stuff that's really down in here is what you got to be concerned about. And... We'll find out about that later. Let's get this stuff out of here right now. All right, looking in from the top of the door, as you can see some more glass pieces there, you can clearly see this is where one of the brackets that's fixed to the glass is attached and it has to be removed. And then here's the other one. So we have to lower this whole assembly, which is done by the electrical switches over here, which I'm not gonna do right now so that these areas that have bolts at the bottom that you can't quite see are in an area over here where I can reach in and loosen because I've got to loosen the bolts. I've got to pull these brackets off without them falling in the door. That You don't want that. And then I've got to be able to make sure that I don't drop the bolts and then put the new piece of glass in here and fasten the bolts and then re-put everything back on. And this is already coming off. As we can see, this actually has to come off or at least temporarily while we're working on this. And like I was saying, I don't think I need to remove these latches. There's green and white. You can remove them if you want. There's some of these electrical ones you can also remove if you want, but we got to take that speaker off. I think we're going to drop that down. It's going to access through the speaker unless we can access here. No, as you can see, there's nothing, no big hole there to access. It's going to have to be where the speaker is. And then this one, I think has several spots. Let's pull this off. We want to be able to reuse all this gunk, so don't let it go anywhere. You can get a knife in here, which I have a knife that might be better. 
you don't want to cut anything on the plastic, but you want to break the seal and be able to reuse the seal. And it's kind of hard to do with holding the camera. So I'm just going to do the rest of this all the way around and, and then put the camera back. As I am pulling this down, I can see that I have access here and it looks like it's going to match up with this. So I don't think I need to go all the way down, but on this side, remember we talked about, we got the, uh, my knee, so we got the speaker and it's got some screws, some nuts holding it in. I'm going to loosen those and pull that speaker out. That's the only way to access the other side. As it turns out, these are 10 millimeter and loose. I'm telling you, loose. I barely loosened this one. Look how loose it is. It is so loose already. It's a good thing I'm in here because I need to tighten these up on my Toyota. Built in Texas, right? All right, I'm gonna loosen all these and come back to this in a second. All right, last one off. And this, and this is a great sounding stereo, by the way. Maybe that's why I vibrated these things loose. But this is going to be big enough now so that when it comes down, we can unbolt the broken off connector and put the new panel in and bolt that on. So let's check out, let's start, let's go check out the, the glass panel right now. All right, this is it. Sent right to my house. Didn't have to go look in the junkyard, didn't have to pick anything up. And I hope it's the right one. Not like it matters. I'm gonna, I don't have any glass anyway, but you never know with these things. All right, so here it is. I gotta remove all this packaging. Hopefully, it's the right one. You can see there's all kinds of bubble wrap, tape, star, environmentally unfriendly styrofoam. But it is what it is. So after taking all this off, it's, it's still wrapped in bubble wrap and tape. All right, so here, here it is, and you can see the mark. It's not gonna be exactly the same as Toyota, but it has to meet these safety standards. I think it's made in China, I believe. All right, now let's work on getting these, this whole thing lowered and uh, hopefully get the brackets off. Oh, I have no power. I need to put the key in the ignition. There we go. Had to have it on the on position for this to work in case you're wondering. I'm gonna bring this thing down. You can see, there we go. It's got a, got a bolt in there. So the next step here is to unbolt, unbolt that thing and pull this bracket off with left of it without dropping it inside the door. And don't drop the bolt. Gotta do this in the back here and also in the front where the speaker is or was. Well, this is also a surprise, a 10 millimeter you see that 10 millimeter and the biggest surprise of all is that i can't find my ratchet so i'm using this a vice grip on here it loosens easy enough just don't drop the stuff in there once you get it going like that do it by hand and, and pull these off by hand hold the bracket and hold the nut and pull them straight out of there sorry my bad this is a bolt not a nut and i got it and i got the bracket you see this bracket looks a little bit different than what's on there but this gets thrown away as well Obviously, save the nut. Now let's lower down to the other, to get the other side. Well, that didn't sound good. Oh gosh! Let's check what that was. Okay, I brought it all the way down, and as you can see with my trusty light, this whole thing slides left and right. That's what that was. It was slid over, so I slid it back, and now I'm going to take this one off next. Okay, this side it was much harder to get out. I don't know if there's anything, any difference or not, but I, it would be better if you could pull the whole panel off, but you don't need to. You just got to be real careful. Now, trying to vacuum out what's inside of this door is going to be, I don't know what. I don't even know how we can tell. When I rattle the door, I don't really hear anything. Maybe it breaks into small enough pieces where it goes out the drains on the bottom. I don't know. But I'm still going to try to stick the vacuum hose in there on the bottom and see what I can suck out. I'm sure it won't be that powerful it's going to destroy anything on the inside but it might suck some glass oh wait scratch that look this is the inside of the door look at all that glass holy crap i'm going to try to get out what i can with the vacuum like i said no car vacuums people use a real one and i don't know how i'm going to get over on the other side maybe i have to 
break that lower panel off on the other side too. Do a good job on this part. There you can see a little bit better. That's with the light on it, there's definitely glass in there. So if you do it yourself, you're more likely to do this right too, I think. All right, I'm also seeing glass in here up at the top of the door and I can't get the vacuum in there. So I'm just gonna take my knife and let it drop and then try to vacuum it all out. But see, this whole track has to be clear. Make sure that the track is completely clear because it'll knock the glass out when it starts rolling and it'll possibly scrape the glass you have, the new piece of glass. some more there I can see it it's like surgery like I said you're probably gonna do a better job than somebody else getting every last piece out all right now time the vacuum on this side and I gotta pull the bottom off of this side to get the vacuum in there well let me finish up on this side first as I'm peeling this off you can see I'm even finding pieces of glass in here and then this is the panel. And then get the vacuum down in there. I'm sure there's more. Yeah, there's definitely more in there. Look at that. Gotta get that out. Note that I have to raise this. That's in the way. I gotta get it up. I'm actually taking a piece of cardboard and sticking it in this gap. Way down in there, there's like a gap. You see it? And it... it all the glass falls in and gets packed in there. That's why you don't hear it anymore. This loosens it up so the vacuum can pick it up. Don't put a metal tool in there. It'll scrape all the anti-rust stuff off there. I know I'm working a little bit backwards here. I even cut my fingers on some glass. Uh, wear gloves. Definitely wear gloves. And you're going to have to get your hand in here and fish out some of this. Because some of it won't come out with the vacuum. Unless you got like a shop vac. You almost need a shop vac really is what you need here. Keep in mind, this is taking forever. This is like the longest part of the whole project. And some of it, if you put out here and you find the drain hole, it'll fall through. You see this? There, see how it's falling through there? Get this vacuum out of the way. You can see it falling through. See that? It's falling through the drain hole. So that might be how the, you get the last of it out with a glove, a hand with a glove and running it over the drain hole so it goes out. Like that. It's like raining glass. Whoa, raining glass. On this one right here, you see that hole? I had to pull the rubber stopper out. Now that I pulled it out, more glass is coming out. You see that? There you can see the pieces going out. Here's what that looks like. Just make sure you put it back. All right, I could spend all day, all night vacuuming this stuff out. I've got almost everything out. I think you can see there are still a few tiny pieces in there. Uh, I'm gonna leave that plug off and there's only a plug in the back over here. It's only in on the back side. Front doesn't have one, but hopefully these things will work their way out. I cannot get anything more. This, my vacuum just doesn't have enough suction. Time to, to put the glass panel in now. Okay, it's gonna be tough to record this while I'm doing this. Okay, be careful not to break anything, obviously. Get it in the track. I've already got it high, so I might try to attach this side first, if I can get it in. I may need to lower the whole assembly, actually. I think I do, because I need to angle it to get it in. It won't go in straight, because it's a perfect fit. So you gotta angle it, so I have to lower the whole assembly. So you can see I'm just kind of angling it in and dropping it inside. Make sure it gets in the track. It looks like I dropped some new pieces of glass. And then once I get it, Close. Actually, I think I'll have to get the bottom attached first. I'll have to drop it in the door, get the bottom one attached first. All right, with it all the way down, I played around with it and it's in there, it's loose. Don't let it drop, it'll break. I'm gonna have to scoot it down to the bottom now so it, I can connect the bottom part where the speaker is. As I'm lowering it down, you can see, here's part of it over here, but this is gonna go all the way down to the speaker. Just remember when you get it down, that metal bar that went across goes in front because 
This has a threaded end on the back, you see? So this has to go behind, the metal bar goes in front. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do this one by a feel. All right, well, I did get it. Now it's gotta tighten it down, don't make it too tight. See how the metal bar's in front? That's it. I'm also noticing it's a little sloppy. I got some of this in the door. Try to avoid that. I'm not gonna put everything back till I get both sides on. Yeah, see, there's the other side. Oh, the metal's, oh, it's on the wrong side of the metal. You see that? Dang, gotta fix that somehow. I have to loosen, see? That's why I did that, All right? Let's see if I can fix that. I just have to play with it by maneuvering here a little bit and angling, and you can see we're ready to go. Just have to get that nut in there. Sorry, I mean bolt. <laughs> Let's finish up making that snug. Not too tight, but snug so it's not going to come off. There we go. And now test operation, and maybe this vacuum again. All right, first time operating, let's kind of go slow. All the way down. It doesn't have auto up. Make sure the tracks are clean. Remember, while we did that, you could be jamming glass in there if you didn't do it. Ooh, shoot, that doesn't sound good. Hmm, makes it tight. I guess that's okay. Oh, that's the other, that's the other side. So you can see this lube, everything is, might be shards of glass in there, so that might be what we're hearing. I'm hearing some, you can hear. I have a feeling it's shards of glass, but let's try to operate this a few times and then maybe it'll break some stuff loose and then we will vacuum again. And vacuuming, as you can tell, is the most important part. If it's not your car, you don't care. If it's not gonna keep the car for very long, you don't care. But if you're keeping this thing for a while and water's gonna get in here, you don't want the inside of your door to rust out for no reason at all. Mm, you hear that? I'm hearing little pieces of glass. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll get free. I don't wanna do this forever. Mm. Rattle the door a little bit. All right, let me get that vacuum out one more time. All right, time to put the speaker back and everything in reverse order. All right, got the speaker on. You can see it through there. Now I need to push these panels and make sure that they're attached. They're a little loose. They're nothing secure. Remember, we, I didn't have to take any of these wires or cables or anything off the door. Um, maybe that's why I messed up the door. <laughs> the door panel, I don't know. You might want to take it off if you want to avoid that. Let me know in the comments what you guys end up doing if you have to do it yourself. Now we got to put this thing back on. I'm going to have to put the camera down to kind of put it back into place. You can see it's, it sticks back. I've got this area to go on top. And this is the part over here that had been pulled down. It was already disconnected. So this maybe end up fixing an issue I had that I didn't even know about because I couldn't see behind the door panel. And like I said, we didn't disconnect anything, so everything should work. All right, this is back in place now. Let's give this a shot. Oh, that didn't sound good at all. Why did it do that? Maybe there was a chunk of glass in the way. Is that not the right length? So I'm wondering, see, this slides. The whole thing's on a slider, but it should self-adjust. It's not locked into place, it's able to slide. I just hope that it's gonna be okay. Like nothing is binding. That's what I'm really, that's the only thing I'm concerned about is that something's binding. You hear that? What the heck is that? Ooh, it sounds like there's some glass in the track. I think that there might be. Right where this, right where this joint is, it may have some glass in the track.
and hopefully eventually that'll work its way out. I wish I had thought to try to get a vacuum on that track. I, I didn't think there would be glass in, in there, but there's glass everywhere, I guess. Yeah, it's only sometimes it must be a piece of glass in there. All right, well, let's get the rest of the door back on. And look, you can see it's falling down again. This is how it was when I took it off. I am gonna try to yank that up some more. Maybe pull up these edges. Uh, it seems to be okay here. It seems to be just there, just where it was before. So remember, passenger side should be just the reverse of this and the back doors, I'm guessing they're pretty darn close. I'm guessing, I don't know. Oh, you hear that? Yeah, there's gotta be something in the track. That really sounds like a piece of glass in the track. I just hope it doesn't cause any problems, but you see how important it is to get all the glass out. Oh yeah, I see back in there. I see a piece of glass. Oh, hold on. Yeah, you see that? I see that right in there. That's it. That is the piece of glass that's making noise. I don't know how to get that out though. Maybe a pair of needle nose pliers. Let me try this thing I have. This is like operation. Up, mm. oh, it may just fell out right there. As long as it's out of there and not binding, that's the thing. I think it was just a piece of glass. And hopefully this will stay here since I've yanked it up on the side. Still less than ideal, but should work. All right, let's put the door back. Okay, I tried to clean up some of that goop since it's right on the edge. Didn't do it that awesome of a job. Let's put this back. This thing rests on the top, this lip. Let's get this part up first. And it should kind of rest in there. If we've got the alignment right. And then we just push it on there. There we go. All right. Let me put the camera down for a second. Yeah, there we go. It just drops into place, make sure it's lined up there. I need to keep cleaning that. Uh, and then the rest of it, as long as it's lined up, it's a matter of pushing it in. Uh, I heard some, you hear that? Oh, that's not glass in there. I guess it probably is. Hopefully it'll work out of this hole. All right, I took the, I took the uh, cover off that hole for at least for a little while. So the glass works its way out. Let me try shutting the door and hear what it sounds like. Yeah, I hear a few pieces of glass in there. Just a few. I can always go in and fix it later. Clean it, vacuum it out again. You hear that? Okay. It may need, yeah, see, it's a, a glass shard just fell out. So it's probably gonna, the rest of it will probably clean its way out as you get like 95% of it out, which I think I did over time. I can see, I can see little glass shards coming out. You see that? That one just popped out of there. That just popped out. And let's do a final check. All right, I think this is as good as we can get it. I'm gonna put that last cover on and screws, screws, covers, and this cover. Better line that up. Clean that. One last test. It's 
glass is a little dirty too. That's it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Hopefully this is helpful. Try not to be sloppy like me. And if you are sloppy, clean this stuff up. See, it seems like it doesn't really stick to the finished surface, thankfully. Although this paper tissue is rubbing off on it a little bit. Maybe get some water on there. I don't like these harsh chemicals, the cleaners. That's it. Oh gosh, I almost forgot this. Don't lose your plastic parts. It goes in. Yeah, it goes in first on the outside and then you push in the inside. That's it. And keep this drain covers handy somewhere so you don't lose it. I'm just gonna drop it in here and hopefully it won't go anywhere. Maybe that's not a good spot. Well, anyway, that's where I'm leaving it. And um, if I can't find it later, I'll go back to my video here and remember that's where, that's where I put it.